Let's bring in these guys because it's the first alert action day, and we have both meteorologist Darla Givens and chief meteorologist Nick Mariano here tracking the conditions tonight. Yeah, it is busy. It sure is. You know, we've been seeing yeah. the storms, the snow coming into the Sierra, and it's starting to pick up too. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been watching some thunderstorms coming into the valley, and the lightning tracker has been pretty busy, showing the recent cloudy ground lightning strikes. And here it is, uh, mainly south of town, uh, coming in across parts of the valley, and this is all pushing eastward uh, with time. So. Now, uh, we've been seeing some pockets of some heavier showers and some thunderstorms and uh, even some small hail out of that and it's been rotating around pushing off toward the east and then all this moisture to the north is moving into the Sierra too and that's going to result in more heavy snow uh, and Darla will talk a little bit more about that here in a bit but let's first go into uh, Linden the Farmington area where we've seen these lightning strikes cloudy ground strikes in the last uh, 10 to 15 minutes and some brighter returns too coming back on radar that's pushing off toward the east northeast Jackson seeing some areas of rainfall right now too on live radar. Uh, back to the west, out toward Sacramento, it's lightened up quite a bit. We're just, uh, most of the activity has moved off toward the east. And in fact, some parts of the valley have already seen some breaks in the cloud cover already after that last batch of rain that came through during the four o'clock hour. Auburn out toward uh, across going into the foothills, all the way into the Sierra. This is that moisture moving in now, and we're seeing that rain snow line uh, starting to drop down a little bit. But it'll, once the heavy precipitation comes, then it'll happen a lot faster, too. But uh, out toward uh, Yuba Pass. Is where we're seeing some of the heavier rates that will continue through this evening. Look at tonight, though. Widespread rain coming into the valley. This is 2 o'clock in the morning, heavy at times. This will be with us into the morning hours. We'll see embedded thunderstorms within that as well. In the Sierra, that will transition to snowfall rates of 1 to 3 inches per hour. And near whiteout conditions with some of the heaviest uh, amounts in place across the Sierra, where we're looking at additional amounts upwards of 1 to 4 feet of snow. But we've already seen a fair amount of snow. Know already from mainly last night's events. Let's bring in meteorologist Darla Givens to talk a little bit more about some of the snowfall totals so far. Hey there, Nick, and good evening, everybody. Yes, we're seeing some decent amount of snowfall, but we do have more headed our way. We had nine inches of snow at Boreal, eight inches at Palisades Tahoe, six inches at Kingville, Sierra Snow Lab, and also Soda Springs. Now, as far as rain is concerned, got a good amount of rain for Auburn, Not, uh, almost an inch of rain. Placerville just under a half an inch, Roseville about a quarter of an inch, a third of an inch in Modesto, and in Stockton just under uh, two tenths of an inch. Now, as we take a look at the temperature outlook for the next six to ten days, it seems as if we're still going to remain cooler than average, and that's according to the Climate Prediction Center. And as far as rainfall amounts are concerned, well, right now we're looking at it's up in the air a bit. Now let's take a look at the highs for tomorrow. Temperatures are going to be mild. 55 degrees for Sacramento. So our normal temperature is 69 degrees this time of year. 55 in Stockton, Modesto, 57, 50 at San Andreas, and in the Sierra, temperatures in the mid 30s. So very chilly out. And take a look at the valley temperatures. Very mild out. Tomorrow is election day. Carry that umbrella with you. Uh, and also Wednesday, we'll see those lingering showers during the morning hours. By Thursday, Friday, we'll have dry conditions, but some patchy frost in the area. And then by Friday, we'll have some fog across. The region. So we are going to see that moisture lingering in the region, producing that fog across the area. So, taking a look at the Sierra now, temperatures are going to remain in the low to mid 30s. And then we'll warm up by Thursday and dry for the weekend. So, if you uh, want to head up to maybe do some tubing because the ski resorts aren't open just yet. Uh, the weekend will be a good time to do so. And then looking ahead to next Monday, we do have a chance for some lingering, or so I should say, more rain and snow headed to that region. Hey, Curtis.